there is a pigeon. If you hear, it's there's a pigeon above. It's just like right here. So. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm back. I've zoomed you in. You know what's about to go down. You know what's about to go down. So, um, we are going to talk about body positivity in this video. The reason why the whole body positivity movement, everything about it, but we're going to try and how I feel about it. You know, I feel like as much as I hate using the word problematic, but I feel like it's a problematic movement. I think it was started for the right reasons, but I feel like it's been hijacked by um, certain things and people and certain ideologies that just don't make any sense to me. And I remember reading up on it so much, trying to figure out, but why is it become this kind of thing? So I, I kind of thought, let's do that while um, I chat to you guys, while I while I try out <laughs> makeup revolution. So finally, I'm that person though. You guys know I'm that person. I'm always late to the party when I try out new makeup products that are on the market. And you know that I also want to try out makeup products that are not always high end, but oof, I haven't bought high end things in a very, very long time. Uh, purely because I'm just, I'm just trying to save. I'm trying to, you know, just be more mindful and careful with my money. And I realized that just makeup is just, it's never going to end. It's a billion dollar industry and there's constantly going to be something new out there that I want to try out. And to be honest, I ain't, I ain't trying to be spending my coin like that. Okay. So what we're going to do today is try out the, some of the makeup revolution products. The only thing that I'm not going to try out is the eyeshadow. The reason why the eyeshadow that I do have is this one. This is the eyeshadow that I have. And it, as you can see, the colors are actually quite uh, bright and what have you. And I'm trying to go for a more brown look because it is winter and I really, really like uh, plain brown eyes, maybe with a brown lip or a nude lip in winter. So I'm, I'm not trying to go all colorful. I, uh, I don't really quite like that. I picked up the um, Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. And I picked up the Conceal and Define uh, Concealer, I suppose. Yes, it's the concealer. And I also picked up a nude lipstick because, really, do we need to know why? No, we don't. I might use this lipstick. I don't know. I'm going out to lunch with my friend later. She's actually on her way now, so she might actually be in this room while I record once she arrives. Um, uh, but I picked up the lipstick. Ooh, it's beautiful beautiful can't quite see it it's a nude lipstick but it's such a nice color okay yeah that's pretty so the straw cream is on because it just gives a really nice sort of luminance which i really really like um okay now we're gonna try this foundation let's talk about the whole body positivity movement so before i get into why i find it problematic what I'm going to just do is give you the definition of the of body positivity and why the, the movement was started, why it was created, blah, blah, blah. It says body positivity is a social movement rooted in the belief that all human beings have a body positive, I mean, a positive body image while challenging the ways in which society presents and views the physical body. The movement advocates the acceptance of all bodies, no matter the form, size, or appearance, and I definitely agree with this, um, which will change people's behaviors towards certain products and services as we know them like physical fitness and health club services, yada, 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 yada. If, if this is how you're explaining body positivity to me, then you're completely making a ton of sense. Okay, I'm going to start with the foundation um, because the eyeshadow is just one color above my lid, so I'm not really worried about messing that up. Um, so I'm going to start with the foundation this time around. I don't know, what is the shade? I don't know, F13? I feel like it is dark. I feel like it's a bit dark. Oof. Okay, girl, I just feel like it's a tad bit darker than the foundations that I do own and oh, wow, it is dark. 
I don't know. I feel like it's dark. I don't know. Maybe you guys might feel like it's perfect. I don't know. Or maybe not. Let me just try. So I feel like that movement and that definition is damn near perfect. I feel like, yes, we need to move towards creating a society where everybody should feel comfortable in themselves, in their skin, in their size, in their sexual orientation. Oh, okay. Okay, I could have picked up a right foundation here. Okay. So, honestly, in that regard, I definitely agree with what body positivity uh, stands for, the ideology behind it, the reasoning behind why the movement has... Okay, I don't quite like... Ugh, it's, it smells very cementy. It smells very cementy, but actually it looks like it's, it's all right. But it's still a little bit, for me, on the orange side. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I tend to be a little finicky with foundations because I am a foundation hoarder and a foundation crazy man. But um, what I feel, on the other hand, is that that's not what has... Um, continued to happen okay like you get the people who are like okay body positivity you need to feel confident and um you know well up in your skin in your body um a movement towards accepting the body and accepting whatever shape size and form that it comes in whatever color that it comes in um that i completely agree with i believe that um when self-love which is one of the other branches of body positivity. When self-love jumped into it, I was just like, yes, self-love is very important. Linking in with the fact that body positivity come, connects with self-love because if you are confident about your body, then it's, 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 it's a step closer to loving yourself, especially when it comes to women, right? So another question that I had was like, okay, this seems to be a very woman-based movement. Uh, where are the men in the whole situation? What's happening with all the men? Where are they? Oh, kind of liking the finish. I really, really like it. Okay. Still feel like it's a bit dark, but as it I'm going to try the concealer and uh, whew, it reminds me of the Maybelline one. I hate the sponge. I liked it before, but now I just feel like it's so chunky or oh, am i using the wrong side yeah i'm using the wrong side um how does that look okay so i feel like it's great but why do i feel like it's so woman-based where are the men in this i mean you know you see what has branched off from body positivity just doesn't really make much sense to me because it's sort of now being used as an excuse um, that look, I am so self, I'm so positive in my body and in how I look and in blah, yada, 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 that you can live however you want. You can eat whatever you want. You can, um, 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 it, it's, it's used as an excuse to actually live a very unhealthy lifestyle. Now, when growing up, being on the heavier side was always a common thing for me. I was never really normal size or a straight size as they call it now. But at the same time, if you are black, you know how you will get comments from family members. You're going to get comments from just everybody about your body, especially if you're a female. Ooh, hey, why so? What, 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 what? In fact, it's, it's very much... It's so frowned upon and it's used mostly by um, family members. It's, it's said mostly by family members and people who are really connected to you. I grew up on the heavier side. I'm not going to lie. Growing up, getting older, of course, that messes with your self-confidence. It messes with how you view yourself, your self-esteem, all of that jazz. Okay, going to do my eyeshadow with the Morphe... 15D Day Slayer Palette. These are the colors that I like to use in the winter time. And I like to keep it to one color pretty much a lot <laughs> uh, when it comes to my eyelid. And today we're going to use which color? Which color we're going to use? Today we're going to use this color here. 
uh, epic. So growing up, I just kind of, you know, I've always had that thing where I was so self-conscious uh, about my body. I was being told about my body from family members that, oh, you've gained a lot of weight and how one on a hakana and whatever. So it's always messed up with uh, my self-confidence. So when I saw this body positivity movement, I thought this is great, especially for women who have always, uh, women or men, uh, who have always grown up or are in a place in their lives right now where they feel that their body seems to be inadequate for society and societal norms. I get that. So when I heard the message the first time around, I was like, yes, yes, A plus to body positivity, right? Uh, and to the movement in itself. Um, I'm topping in with a lighter brown. I seem to really, really like this look lately. Have the darker brown on the outer part of the eyelid just above and have the lighter on the inside i feel like it's such a nice look and keep it matte i really like it but until i started seeing a lot of influencers jump onto this movement but not only the influencers that jumped onto this movement but the message that it was slowly starting to uh turn into okay so for me it wasn't really now a message of um be positive in your body and what have you it was a message that is now used as an excuse to not take care of yourself or to eat whatever you want to eat because i'm positive about my body and because i feel great in uh, uh, uh my body you know if your standards beauty at whatever size and blah 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 that's fine. Beauty at whatever size, I completely agree with. I'm with you. I completely agree with that. But if that is then used as an excuse um, um, to, to not take care of yourself, then how are you going to incorporate ideologies like self-love self and self-acceptance and, and with body positivity, they just, they are not mutually inclusive of one another. It then just doesn't make any sense to me. Because if you love yourself, you want to take care of yourself. You want to take care of your body. You want to take, look after yourself so that you don't die. And just use the whole, I'm positive about my body. I don't care. I don't care who says what, blah, blah, blah. Really? Really? Um... So I'm just putting a bit of powder just to sit, just a little bit. I'm using my MAC powder as always because my Rumor One has smashed. I really wanted to use uh, drugstore products only for this look, but my Rumor One has smashed. Okay, I think my friend is at the gate. Ow. I thought you were recording. I don't want to, I feel like, oh God, sorry. I am I recording. I am recording. What do you want? Okay, I need to hang up. Bye. Jeez. Bye. <laughs> yes. So as I was saying before my friend walked in and we were, we've basically been talking about it outside. I do not have a problem with the body positivity movement because it talks to everyone. It talks to people who have lost their limbs. It talks to people who've had some sort of surgery, um, um, people who are skinny, people who are fat, people who are whatever. It talks to everyone. And the message, the ideal core message behind the body positivity movement to me makes a ton of sense. And I totally respect and I'm there for it, right? My only issue is the movements, the side movements that have jumped onto body positivity, say the fat acceptance movement, the shake, shake, whatever, the F your beauty standards with uh, Tess Holiday which is another contentious issue all on its own, but we'll get into that. The only issue that I have with that is that they are sort of saying that, yes, I can be body positive and I can accept my fat, obese or even morbidly obese body and make those two things mutually exclusive that i have a problem how do you especially when you incorporate self-love and you want to love yourself and you want to be a better version of yourself and blah 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 how do you accept your morbidly obese body and then call yourself healthy and fit and happy and whatever then at that point you're completely distorting the whole message behind body positivity tess holiday went on to uh this foundation is actually holding on quite well i got this from uh 
revolution. Clicks, makeup revolution. It's actually really, it's holding quite well. Because I was standing in the sun just now, so I thought I would look funny. The whole idea, the reason why I mention Tess Holiday is because she went onto the cover of Cosmopolitan. This is how it started. She is a big, huge um, social media influencer uh, who's very proud and confident in her body. And I love that. I love that. I do not dispute that. She was on the cover of Cosmopolitan, which made me love it even more because I felt that, yes, even society is starting to accept and warm up to the idea that you can love yourself at any size. That's where the buck stops with me. Then there was another article that came out with Tess Holiday inside Cosmopolitan that actually says that I'm 300 pounds, which is I don't know, 100, I'll put it somewhere here, it's, it's, it's 100 and something, probably kilograms or whatever. I'm this size, I'm fit, and I'm healthy. <laughs> really? I'm fit and I'm healthy? Really? Really? Let me talk about me, personally. When I started going on to the healthy journey, movement and whatever, do your makeup at the same time, get your life. When I started getting onto that, movement it's because i loved myself enough to realize i can't even get up a flight of stairs without <sighs> huffing and puffing this can't be good for my body this can't be good for my health at the end of the day if i love myself if i have the self-love that I, I i am preaching and claiming to have about my body, about my size, about whatever, I then need to love myself enough to do something about the fact that I am over, overweight, I am obese, my BMI is shocking, okay? And I'm not even, I'm going to sit here and tell you the truth, guys. I'm going to tell you how much I weighed. That's how much, that's how much I'm ready for this conversation. <laughs> I weighed 90 kilograms somebody do that in pounds I don't know what that means okay I weighed 90 kilograms at a height of 157 centimeters 157 something like that right um, centimeters it's ridiculous I couldn't do any you know you eat and then you get the itis you're just like shoo and when I'm just saying writing I think lala it's a problem. It's a problem. I don't care who says what about the fact that no, he, he, nye, 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 blah, blah. No, 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 no. It's a problem. So because of that, I then thought, you know what? What I'm going to do is take care of myself. I'm going to look after my body. If I want to be here for my family, if I want to be here for myself, if I want to live a long life, without having people who care about me worry about what the hell am I gonna make it till December? Then I need to look after myself. I don't care who says what. At my height, that's a motherfucking problem. I, I'm sorry, did I swear? <laughs> no, but it, it upsets me so much because I don't get how people can just uh, say that no, it's, it's, you know, it's you accepting your body and feeling that, you know what, I can live off of a McDonald's and live off of whatever every single day, but I still love myself at whatever size. No, then you are being very disrespectful to the people who actually do care about you, to the people who actually want to see you do well and see you live a long life and see you be the best version of yourself because you cannot be the best version of yourself and then call yourself healthy and fit only 150 something kilograms. Think there's actually a person who can honestly, truthfully say that mm -hmm. I'm fat and I'm completely happy. At some point yeah. in your life, yeah. be it, it can even be at that random moment where you look at yourself and like I don't like this. You, you for everyone who's absolutely has been through that. Yes, maybe ninety-eight percent of the time you're happy. You look good. Your clothes are mm -hmm. what you're good in you. Mm -hmm. At some point in your life, you have looked up in the mirror and said, "Damn, I'm fat." There's no fat person who's I look good you know all the time. all the time you can't be exactly you can't be so morbidly obese but then come come back and say that I've never had a problem with my weight you can love your body at that size but do not even but do not lie 
and say, Uguti, your health, this is why I have that problem with the test holiday um, um, article that you're healthy and you're fit. I'm just saying that to people who are going to be that size and then preach that, knowing the social influence that they have, knowing the power that they have over young, impressionable people. They don't even have to be young, those people. Knowing the power that they have and you're going to go and transmit, transmit, you're going to go and uh, put off such a message to the world and have the world accept that? Are we trying to have a world of overweight, morbidly obese people? Is that what we're trying? Is that the world that we're going for? You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand. There's, there's this whole, um, I love the plus size movement. I love the fact that, you know, you can be plus size girl and live your best life and yada, yada, yada. Absolutely, positively agree. But I have a problem with the fact that I accept my body the way it is. I love myself and I'm going to live off of McDonald's each and every single day, three times a day. Goopila. Why are you doing such an injustice to your body? And, and, and then, you know, the, you know what upsets me even the most about the body positivity movement is the fact that they are so aggro when people like myself come and, and mention things like this, that no, it doesn't make sense. How could healthy? You're not healthy. If you're doing, if, if you're, if you're, you know, uh, uh, preaching this kind of message and then preaching the fact that, yeah, you can eat whatever you want to eat and blah, 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 and yada, 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 and, and I accept my body and blah, blah, but you're not healthy. Ooh, <laughs> have that highlight. Girl. That's what upsets me is that the whole movement gets so aggro against people who just don't understand that, yes, you can be body positive, but don't, don't then hijack such a great movement for everyone. People who are struggling, limbs have been lost, breast augmentations gone wrong, facial surgeries gone wrong, but love themselves. That is a good thing. Know to love yourself, absolutely. Learn to love yourself, absolutely. But do not then say that you can love yourself at 330 pounds or whatever, and then you're healthy too at the same time, like test holidays. No, there is no way. There is no, absolutely no way. For lips, we are going to use this. Let's try it out because we are using, ooh, my brown is a mess. Okay, my brown. Okay. Woo! Comes off very bright on the viewfinder. It's nice, but I think it's a lipstick that I would have to use with another, a darker version, something slightly darker. How does it look? How do I look? How do I look? So I'm back. Hang on. We'll continue this conversation. So I'm back. I like, um, oh, let me just, Okay, so I like this nude look. I like this lipstick, I'm not gonna lie. But um, it's very much on the nude nude side, which is fine, but I'm trying to go for a more pinkier kind of lip today. So I pulled out Velvet Teddy from MAC and just gonna top that off on top. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but I can. So that's all, that's all that matters. I would love to know your thoughts. I'm so engrossed in this movement and in this, you know, the body positivity movement. I am all for that movement. I feel like uh, the fat acceptance movement is jumping onto it, trying to make body positivity mutually exclusive with the fact that I'm morbidly obese and I'm happy about it and I'm healthy. That is my problem. You cannot be morbidly obese and healthy. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Okay, you cannot be morbidly obese, healthy, and fit. You cannot use those three th th things in one sentence. You absolutely cannot. It's a lie, and if you're going to impart that on other people or whatever, then I genuinely really have a problem with that. And um, I would love to know 
what you f you think and what you feel about it let's communicate about it down below i would really really love to know i just feel like self-love is extremely important the body positivity movement is doing such a beautiful movement a, a move towards uh loving yourself at any size weight however way you look whether you've had surgery or not absolutely loving yourself is very very important but you have you have to love yourself enough to know when you are not healthy when you're dying when you're struggling when you're whatever you can't even get up a flight of stairs like i couldn't at some point you have to love yourself enough to know that you need to change that or not you need to change it love yourself enough to know that if you want to be alive or whatever, change it. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Look after yourself. And, and, and you know, it, the thing is, it's amazing how when you do lose the weight, I mean, for me from 90 kilograms to 66 kilograms, knowing that that is my size right now, trust me, my self-love for myself has shot up. It literally shot up. Because I feel like, yes, I feel good in my skin. I'm taking care of my body. My skin is ready. as My cat lower. How? You know? And it's because I'm taking care of myself. So the messages, the body positive message is great, but it gets misconstrued when all these other sub movements jump onto it and i have a serious problem with that so i'm gonna film another video now so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think don't forget to subscribe join the jk family let me know what you'd like to see on my channel and until the next one i'll see you very very soon bye say bye bye bye